All right, I'm too enthralled to just walk away. So let's let's hey everybody, it's Harusama. Let's play some Undertale. I'm gonna go try to talk to Doctor Alphys now that fucking Flowey told me to. Fucking Flowey telling me to go do shit. I already fucking knew I had to do it. I just couldn't find a way to talk to Alphys. Virus. I can't get to the fucking. There's no internet. I can't call fucking Alphys and. I swear to God, Alphys, if your lab is still locked! Like, I looked! I swear I looked! I tried to find all the things in the place of Alphys and the. Mm, my rage has no limit. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Alaris. This was your idea. Human! You have to deliver something for me. Uh, please. I'm at Stoded in front of Papyrus's. Say up, punk! Oh, good! Something different! Now I could go do this. Apparently, you have to do a normal ending to get the better ending. Alright, I'm okay. I'm okay with this. It'll be, it'll be fine. No! Snowed in, talk to them. Left floor one. Uh, finally, Papyrus had a great idea. Let's do a thing so we can be best friends! <sighs> <sighs> fucking Alphys, fucking making my fucking life fucking hard. God damn it, Alphys! We will be friends if I have to murder you! Take me to Snowed in. Dancing on a boat is danger, but good exercise. I already knew that. -la -la. Thank you for piloting me across the river sticks! But we're friends, so I'll tell you. The hotland sucks! I don't ever want to go over there. So here you go. You got the unknown letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you! Thanks so much. You're the best. Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewire, right? That's why she asked you, because you have no standards. <laughs> Holding the letter, but it's been shut so tightly you need a chainsaw in order to open it. Ha <laughs> ha! Hola, go for a ride to Hotland. Yes, we're off. Ha ha ha. Running on the cat. Meow meow meow. Freaking goddamn flowy and it's bullshit. Full of bullshit. Tra la la. Don't snoop behind people's houses. Might be mistaken for a trash can. Apparently there are things behind people's houses. Tra la la. Let me get some time. Tra la la. Door 
has no mail slot, slide the letter under. Slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, no, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, uh, this is a joke. It's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so... I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. So passionately, too. Mm. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. And then the dating begins. Dating start! Question mark. Ah, uh, sorry. Still getting dressed. The clean dress. How do I look? I can only pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating. Start. Hey, whoa, whoa, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating. Stop. Um, I gotta give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That only gives the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, d d don't worry. I'm prepared. I would stop piling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. But first, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But I'll spread some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Ah, uh, well, how about this magical sphere repair kit that I, um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating start! Yeah, let's, uh, date. Ah, uh, do you like anime? Yes! I fucking love anime! Hey, me too! I fucking love anime. Let's watch some anime. Put on an anime! Hey, let's go somewhere. Where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Yeah, that'll be great. Here we are. This is where our nine and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Hey, she's really... Ah. Uh, oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well, oh no. Here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? I don't have it. No. Are you at least seeing her? Yeah. Yes. So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Hello? I guess it's obvious, huh? Oh uh, yeah. I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. It's just so you'd, you you know, it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, sorry, I messed up again. And that's the person I um really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't um cool, but my undying She's still confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I told her so many lies. She thinks I'm. She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? The truth? But but if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Is it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? No. Or put truth where neither of us are. They say, be yourself. But I don't really like who my, myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. I'm scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have any confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. I'm gonna practice. 
let's role play it. Obviously, let's role play. R role play? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> hi, hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Ha, ha. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. What is it, Alphys? Uh, you see, I, 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 I have been exactly truthful with you. You see, I, I, oh, forget it! I'm nine! I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so strong, and it's, it's, it's so brave, and, and strong, and, and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like, telling me that you, you'll be anyone who that gets it my way? Undyne! I can't take this any longer! I'm madly in love with you! Hold me! Undyne! Hold me! What did you just say? What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa. Wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. You two... On a date? Uh, yes? I mean... Uh, no? I mean... We were, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you? What? I mean! I mean! Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. Told you this, see what it looks like. Scientifically important. Really, I just use it to make ice cream. Those human history books I keep reading. Those are just dorky comic books. Those history movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. How I told you I was just doing work on the phone. I was just eating frozen yogurt in my panties. The time I Alphys. I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. But I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. And I, I you really think you're neat? Okay. Alphys. Shh. Shh. Uh-oh. The fucking... Elvis, I think you need to, I guess. But you gotta realize, that's what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. Doesn't matter what it is, you care about it! 100% the maximum power! So, you don't have to lie to me. I just want, don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Elvis. I want to help you become happy with who you are! And I know just the training you need to do that! And I you. You're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? Nah. I'm gonna set. I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. <laughs> get those. Come on! Get those bones shaken! It's time to jog 100 laps! Who do you about how great you we are? Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Undyne? I'll do my best. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons? Those comics? Those are still real, right? Anime's real! Right? Anime is real, totally. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic any sword! Magical princesses! Here I come! Uh, uh, thanks for taking care of all this. I didn't say what I wanted to, but they said like they're going to get better for her. Well, I had to go catch up with them. Later. <laughs> her entire premise of reality just got shattered a little bit. That was super hilarious. Ring, ring. Those flowers. One day, they just started to grow there. I swear. It's like they have a mind of their own. Partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. Back in the fucking trash zone. Ring. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend, who trusts me? Yes, Papyrus. This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Office and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Ah, uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go. There. 
to her. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Virus! Karma shop! So many great things come from there. The reason we have modern technology is because of all the human junk that flows from the surface. Plus, it's a great place to meet girls. I mean, according to every description, Undyne, you are a girl, so I guess I can take your word for it. Draw a lock here for a ride, right in the boat. We're going to Hotland, and we're off. La la la. Going the wrong way up the river. La la la. Beware the man who speaks in hands. Man who speaks in hands. Anyway, let's go see Alphys. Again sometime. Tra la la. Are you still watching me? Read it? Sure. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me, but to build it, you guys only can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. For that time, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear, this isn't anyone else's problem but mine, but if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You always deserve to know what I did. Dropping. Damn it, Alphys. <laughs> Tree number one, this is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Tree number two, the barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. This old power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we, have, we will have to use what we have now, the souls of monsters. Entry number three. That extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Beside being impractical, doing so would instantaneously, instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it. Fr I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. They will, the will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Ooh, this is getting creepy. There's a note on the ground. You can can't make it out at all. Elevator, lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you can read. Power room. Buy chips for 25G. The vending machine dispensed some chips. Room 6, as we're asked to run off the city for our monsters that had monsters that had quote fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose. But soon they'll all turn into dust. What happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Number nine, things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust if I could free them. Starting to ask me what's happening. Do I do? This is some creepy, some creepy 
Um, hi. Ah! You got your cell phone, you're your voice is the receiver. Yeah, I'm enjoying the fun. to work! 13, one of the bodies opened its eyes. That was nice! Not a safe point. Sweet lemons. Lemon bread. Come on. Come on from there too. Lemon bread's body shakes. Stop trying to kill me! But nobody came. Where would lemon bread be? Lemon bread's teeth 
Seems to or something. I felt this before. Oh, I hit the tooth. This be goodbye. You won. Let's go. Let's leave that room. Tricking me. Why my name? Why my name? Howdy, Haro. It's for the camera. Huh? This time I got you. I left the cap on. On purpose! I smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I remember. We tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. We accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. Felt so bad. You made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Uh, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera. Okay. I, I don't like this idea, Hero. But what? No, no, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I never doubt you, Hero. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. I've heard that so many times! Just, Aro, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I. I. No, I said. I said I'd never doubt you. 
Six, right? We just have to get to six? And we'll do it together, right? Oh my mercy me. There is so much more down here than I was expecting. Entry number 11. Now that Metatom's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be, be then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Uh, let me turn on the fans. Which, of course, did a thing. It's Amagamate. It's an amalgamation. Let's play. Um, dog bullets. He called out about a bounce towards you, flicking a strange liquid from its orifice. <laughs> He's gonna eat me. He convulses rapidly, then calls down. Risk calling for a Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Stop that! Stop being rocket powered! Throw your weapon into the corner of the room. Then we want to bring it back to you. Probably. Repeat this process a few times. Now we want Monty to verify it leads. It's dripping him over his body on you. to generate a strange eye happiness froth. A stage one happiness froth. <laughs> you pet decisively. Oh my god, Seems to be satisfied by all this. Endo Jenny. He found that looks like me! Thanks, Asgard! Refrigerator. It's empty. Why the chicken? Oh, I spent all my time in the garbage dump now. It's my element. It's refrigerator. It's empty. It's definitely empty. This is what you can set. You can take the apples of some kind. It's refrigerator. It's empty. Yeah! Starts to shift. Aha! Aye. Fun. Excited to do more. Aha! Then. But on about snow, she's completely calmed down. You won. Got nothing. Blue key on the ground. Yeah. Curtain. That's all you could read. Keep shaking, it's bothering me.
somewhere. what I thought was going to happen. Um. Boom. Baby, find me of you. Birds. Fly. Oh! Sprouting heads! Oh no, it's not bad! No, no, no! No, the butterflies! That viciously ate your face! What a from this world. Oh, you're sprouting heads again! Oh, the heads! Or at least they're easy to dodge. Stop with the butterflies! They are mean, they are vicious, they eat faces! Okay, yep, 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 Definitely, only good things can come from this thing I'm having you do. Poor Elphys. Something went horribly wrong. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Seems to be 
turned off. It seems to be turned off. Here we go. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Yeah. some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had. And anyway, the power went out. I haven't tried to turn it back on. It seems like you were one step ahead of me. This is probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Ah, uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, as you were asking me to study the nature of souls, during my research, I isolated a power called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. The body started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into... Well, that was... Seeing them like this, I knew... I couldn't tell their families about it. I, I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me... And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. And, but now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times when I struggle. I'm sure there will be times when I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Yeah, nothing about that seems at all creepy, right? Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Hasgor yet. I want to surprise him with it. The center of his garden, there's something in the, in the center of the first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? You didn't. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. It's all covered in vines. Give me a save point. Give me a save point. There's supposed to be a save point here. No sign of signs. Coming up at the end. Oh, there's no save point. Right, the king's throne room. Oh, the end. Oh, oh yes, save point. All right, we're back at the end. We'll uh, see what happens next time. Bye.